Right, welcome back to the channel. Guys, um, today we're going to do a rehouse of a, a rather beautiful spider from Brazil. And that is the Ephibopus murinus, or it's commonly known as the skeleton leg. And we've got her in here. Now we picked this one up at a recent show in Brighton. And this is what, well, it was said to be an adult female, but I would class this more as a sub-adult. She's a little on the small side. But hopefully, once we get her out, we'll see if she can expand a little bit. So what we're going to do, we've got our Komodo 30 by 30 by 30. And we're going to set this up as a uh, bioactive. If I can reach the bottom of my bag. Now, um, these guys are quite often referred to as a, a bit of a pet hole, so they, they are burrowers. They spend a lot of time underground. But as we've said before, we can teach our fossorial spiders, our deep burrowers, to spend a little bit more time outside so we get to see them. And that's the plan with this girl here. And we're going to put our membrane in. We're going to top this right up now. Now we don't need to go absolutely crazy. It doesn't need to be mega, mega deep. But what we're looking for is to give the spider some security. So providing we can provide the security, we can go a little less on substrate. We put that in there, and then we're going to mix some some beastly mix in with it as well. This will give it a little bit of substance. This is quite dry. This stuff. We've allowed the top to to dry out quite a bit. So what we're going to do now is we we can mix this all up. See how that mixes in, that gives it a whole new texture. It looks entirely different now. And this will be really beneficial for when she starts to burrow down and what have you. So there you go, something nice and simple. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a hide. Right to go in there. plant in this one because this plant is going to give us or give us give our spider a little bit of security as well because we're going to plant this in the mouth of the right next to the mouth of the hide we can take that right down to that bottom layer of the down into the balls pretty much. That didn't sound right, did it? Down to the clay balls, I should say. Sounded a bit naughty, that, didn't it? And as you can see now, you see that's going to start to open up. And that will give us a little bit more. And then what we can do, flatten this off. What we do want, we want to put a water bowl over here. Like so. Now we've got some of our lovely moss here, so we're just going to, now this moss is absolutely soaking wet, we've kept it outside and it's, we've had a real good downpour and it's completely saturated this, so it's very very wet, but you can see how lush that is, once that water gets into it, it really transforms it, so what we can do now, Put 
this over here so careful with your moss around your water bowl because if it does end up in your water bowl it will in effect siphon the water out so just be aware of that okay. we can put some around the back as well See the water dripping out of that, it's absolutely saturated, which is a good thing for us. Put that in there. Having this around the base of your plant will also help your, your plant secure water as well. And I think what we're going to do, we're going to place some on top as well. I think that might just finish that off. Nice, nice look. Now then, this um, this particular spider, they do enjoy a high humidity. So we're looking at maintaining around about eighty percent humidity, and we're looking at temperatures in the mid fifties to the low eighties, and that will be more than enough to keep this girl nice and happy. So what we're doing is we're going to quickly wipe this off because we make a bit of a mess when we're setting them up. So it's best to clean your glass now and we don't have to worry about upsetting her later on. We can just let her settle in. So I'm going to fill our water bowl. I'm going to give our plant a nice water as well. Don't forget, when your spiders go into a new enclosure, they're quite often in a little bit of shock. You know, this is a whole brand new thing to them. And plants are exactly the same. So it's good to give your plant a real good soaking, plenty of water, and that will help it adjust and help the root ball actually work its way out. Right now, there's a couple of things we can uh, run through. We've done this now and you can see she can come in here and she will web this up and disappear down, down into the corner here and she'll be perfectly happy and because of this coverage here as well you'll find even if she sits out for a day or two which is something that's it's not uncommon for these spiders when you first put them in their new enclosure sometimes they will spend even up to a couple of weeks I've actually got my, ne my Nendep still hasn't burrowed She's preferred to web up on top, literally on top like that, and that's where she stayed put. So that's, um, it's not something to worry about. As long as they're feeding and everything else, don't panic. They will sort themselves out. So what we're going to do, we're going to come over and have a nice look at this. If we can get the lid off. she is. Now this is our skeleton leg. Now this is a female and you can see there that um, she's not she's not got a very big abdomen so she's a little bit undernourished. Could really do with getting a couple of good meals in this girl. She should be at this size she should be a little bit bulkier than this. I say we got this one from the show in Brighton and uh, we have in actual fact got some some others some smaller ones which are subadol and hopefully we'll breed these later on so that's the idea of getting this girl she will be our breeding female so what we're going to do now is we're going to just try and tickle her out of the box now these guys are very very defensive you do not want to be touching these. As you can see, me touching her with a paintbrush, you see how she's turning around now to face the paintbrush. And what we're going to do is we're just going to ask her to go sideways out the box. Nice and gently. You see her opening up now, you see that real beautiful colouring. There we go. There we 
Joe, nice and easy. We don't really want you up there, do we? That wasn't an invitation. I want you to go back down. You see how we can just move her nice and gently? And what we want is her to go on the floor. There we go. She'll settle down now. She seems quite intent on climbing the glass. There we go. That's better. Now you'll notice there, although we were saying these guys are very, very defensive, you do not want to handle these. They have got a bit of a reputation for having some attitude. But as you saw there, even though this girl, she's gone into strange... In a strange environment you would expect her to be really hyper aggressive but because we handle her really gently we're nice and calm with a paintbrush and we can maneuver her around we didn't even get really so much as a threat pose from her you can see there what we were saying about the abdomen it's very very small this abdomen should be almost twice this size really for this size spider so she's a little bit undernourished at the moment so we need to get some food into her now, um, as we were saying, humidity-wise, these guys like a humid environment. So we're looking at trying to maintain about 80% humidity. They do come from Brazil, and, and in Brazil, not only is it warm, but it's, it tends to be very wet for most of the year. Um, in certain parts of the year, it gets very, very wet. So um, we need to try and emulate them kinds of them situations. And hopefully, this kind of setup will do exactly that. Now... Uh, in terms of food, she'll take on adult roaches, no problem at all. And um, as you all know, I generally feed this type of spider, this kind of size, I generally feed male dubias. And the reason for the feeding the males is because they don't tend to burrow. So they will literally run around on the surface and she will find them. If we feed female ones, they tend to burrow down, disappearing in the substrate, we never see them again. So a uh, little tip there, feed your males. It's good, it's good policy as well if you've got a colony going. Um, right, I think we said the temperature. High 70s to low 80s, perfect. One interesting point here, one, something that we've been asked about quite a lot recently, is about the water level in the stones. When we look at our stones down here, we've got our clay balls here, then we put our mesh on, and then we have our soil. And you can see like dampness in the soil here and this is very dry this is what we're looking for we want this dampness down here if you're seeing water sitting in your clay balls you have got it too wet yeah so it's very very important people think because you've got clay balls that that should hold what is in effect a reservoir of water that's not really what we want the clay balls will in actual fact soak up the water so if you've got standing water in the clay balls that means your clay balls are full you know they, they've taken on as much water as they possibly can so you are left with um with standing water because there's nowhere for it to go so what we the idea of the clay balls is that excess water will go down there the clay balls will suck it up and then it will slowly get released due to heat within your enclosure and then that in turn produces the humidity rising through the tank which keeps our spider at its optimum best. So if you've got standing water in the bottom there, you've got too much water. You need to lay off, spray less, do whatever. Um, if I want to increase this, rather than spraying, I'm not a lover of spraying, rather than spraying, I will literally pour water down a corner, down the corners, and then that will give me that um, bulk of water which will automatically get sucked up by all the substrate and everything else but you don't want standing water down there right I hope that makes sense something we've been questioning on quite a lot lately right well I hope you like her and uh, she's coming in for our future breeding product like I said we've got a couple more that are um, only small at the moment and hopefully one of them will mature out to be a male and we can crack on and uh, Bit of luck, we can we can breed these wonderful spiders. Really, really smart. Right then, so then. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget, be calm, 
Be gentle and love your spider. And I'll see you soon, guys.